Hello, it's Dev from Kilgar Teddy. So today we will discuss on center spread and shape of distribution. Let's start with center. Center of distribution actually tells you the center of data measured by median mode or mean. For internal or ratio level data, we use mean for the center measures. Mean, if your data set as X, so your mean value normally denoted by X bar will be summation of X summation of X by n, where n is your number of data points. Median. Median is another measure of central, which is the middle value of the data. And another is mode. Mode is the most frequent value in your data set. For an example, let's take a data set like that 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 7, 10. So, in this given data set, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 data points. So your n will be, your n will be 10. And summation of these 10 data points is 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 10, that is 51. So, your mean will be 51 divided by 10, which is equal to 5.1. And your median will be middle value of the data. As we can see, the data set, data set has even number of data values, that is 10. So, at the scenario, will be changed as we cannot get the exact middle value. So in this case, what will be the median value? Your median value will be the average of two median data. That is, here the mid, you will have two mid, middle value. If we go from the first, two, three, four, four, and last, 10, seven, six, five. So you have two middle value, five, and five. So your median will be the average of these two, that is five plus five, 10 by two, which is equals to five. Five will be your median. And what is the mode? What is the most frequent data values in that given data set? That is five, which has a frequency of three. So your mode will also be five. This is the, the this is the measures of center. Now spread. What is spread? Spread is describe the variation of data. The two measures of spread are range and standard deviation, which is normally denoted by ST. This is the measure of spread range how do you calculate range from a given data set range is the the maximum value minus minimum value so in my previous example the maximum value is 10 and minimum value is 2 so your range will be 10 minus 2 which is Eight. 
Now, the shape of the distribution. Shape means the characteristics of the data set as revealed in the histogram of the data set. There are several types of shape like unimodal, that is single mount, bimodal, that is two mount, symmetry, which is well known as bell shaped, non-symmetry, that is well known as skewed, uniform, etc. These all are the shape of the distributions. Let's show a shape for an example. Let's draw the histogram like this. So this histogram has one mountain. So it will be unimodal. And as we see from the histogram that the, the data is spreaded equally from the maximum histogram. So this one is skewed. Uh, this, this will be not a skew. This will be a symmetry or bell shape. So the characteristics of this distribution is unimodal, symmetry or bell shape. And for skewed distribution, there are two types of skewed distribution. One is right or positive skew, and another is left or negative skew. So when the data is distributed, only the right side of the mean, it is right skew, and when it is left side, it is left skew. Let's do an harder example on center spread and shape of distribution. Like a store has five different lengths of extension cord for sale as shown in the table below. That is Stored cells five different length of extension cords. One cord is eight feet, another is eleven feet, another is six feet, another is seven feet, and another is x feet. So if the range of the length of the five cord is eight feet, what is the highest possible value of x? So we know. The range is equals maximum minus minimum value. Here, the range is given as 8, your maximum value. You need to find the highest possible value of x. So, let's, your maximum value is x and your minimum value from the table, you can see that six feet. So we can write 
eight is equals to x minus six, and from here x is equals to fourteen feet. For more upcoming video, please subscribe our YouTube channel and like this video.